is Bashir really sort of a generational talent, or is he a closet Republican? What's what's so special about him? You know, I think one of the reasons why I'm with I'm talked with political scientists about is obviously, like you said, Bashir was able to win as a Democrat governor in a deep red state. And what's also notable is his dad is Steve Bashir. And Steve Bashir was also um, a Democrat governor for Kentucky and was also serving in the Kentucky House of Representatives at one point. He was also lieutenant governor as well and attorney general. And Governor Andy Bashir was also an attorney general before he stepped into the governor position. So so I think, you know, Governor Andy Bashir takes after his father a bit. And also, I think what also makes him appealing is he focuses on kitchen table issues such as jobs, the economy and public education, which is appealing to both sides of the aisle. Yeah. And to be fair, on a lot of those issues, he's much more centrist, you might say, than mm -hmm. to, to the far left of things. One thing he figured out how to deal with, even in a dark red state, um, is the issue of abortion. And it was this ad that won him, many would say, the governor's mansion. Take a listen. I was raped by my stepfather after years of sexual abuse. I was 12. Anyone who believes there should be no exceptions for rape and incest could never understand what it's like to stand in my shoes. This is to you, Daniel Cameron. To tell a 12-year-old girl she must have the baby of her stepfather who raped her is unthinkable. Cameron was the fellow that Andy Bashir beat. Andy Bashir is definitely a Democrat in a red state. Is he far enough left to be acceptable to the progressive wing of the Democratic Party? You know, I think that's a great question, and I think that's what a, little, a lot of political scientists are debating about. I think, like I've said, he focuses a lot on the kitchen table issues, such as jobs, the economy, um, as well as public education. I, uh, but recently, I know as well, he's also come after J.D. Vance in a couple of national uh, media appearances on CNN. Yeah, we, we have some of those. We'll, we'll play those. Take a listen. Let me be clear, J.D. Vance ain't from Kentucky, he ain't from Appalachia, and he ain't going to be your vice president. J.D. Vance is a phony. He, he's fake. I mean, he first says that, that Donald Trump is like Hitler, and, and now he's acting like he's Lincoln. That's weird, it's mean, and it's disqualifying. I've told people he ain't from Kentucky, he ain't from Appalachia. All right. Is there something about Andy Bashir that when you see him and how does he deal with this, that he is the son of a governor? He was born, I mean, there's talk he's born with a silver spoon in his mouth, but this is not a man of the working class. Yeah, and I think that's something, you know, some Republicans here have pointed out is, you know, when Bashir has attacked J.D. Vance for not being from Kentucky, a lot of the Republicans, you know, point out, they say on on X that he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Um, they've said, you know, stuff, he is a Nepo baby and things like that. Um, so I think it's really interesting to kind of see the dynamic and see that play out between Vance and Bashir over these past couple of weeks, especially after, you know, Bashir has really crit doubled down on the criticisms against um, J.D. Vance. Well, I'll tell you this, Hannah. If he gets picked, um, to be the vice presidential nominee, you've got about 95 days of the ride of your life as a young reporter. So good luck. Um, we'll be following your reporting. And Andy Bashir's not going anywhere. So if you're on the short list, there's a, a bright political future and therefore a lot to cover for someone like yourself. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.